All right, well, hi everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Well, for today, I've got a problem with my uh, downstairs thermostat. It is a uh, iComfort uh, model for Lennox line. It's a Wi-Fi uh, catalog number 10F81. And I'll put that model number right here and put uh, the part number in there as well. So I went on to the Lennox site and found out uh, what the replacement was. Now this unit's about nine years old and they don't make it anymore. So what's happening with it, as you can see the screen is doing its uh, little fuzz out thing. Now it'll vary. Sometimes it'll get some little image in there and look, you can kind of control it, but it's getting worse and worse as time goes by. Fortunately, um, the settings that were in there, they're remembered and the system's working fine right now, but I really need to get in here and replace this unit. So the Lennox site says that the replacement for this, there have been two of them. There's a, what they call an S30, and then uh, there's an S40 replacement. So I went ahead online and I got this S40 replacement. If you go onto the uh, Lennox site, it's pretty expensive. It's over over a thousand dollars. Uh, so I went on to eBay, found found one that I got for about half of that, and I'm going to go ahead and have a go at trying to replace this myself. All right, so I'm not advocating to do it this way. I'm just a regular homeowner. This is my experience, but the unit's actually powered and on right now. Now, it might be better to power down the unit by turning the breakers off. I don't know how to do that, but uh, I've gone ahead and disconnected this before, so... Um, I'll go ahead and do that. All right, so to disconnect this, all you've got to do is just pull down on the top and it will separate from its mount. And there are two little hinges down below here. Now you can see this is designed to just uh, swing on these lower hinges and then pop in and it's got these four pins here. Now the replacement that Lennox recommends is quite different on how it interfaces here, but let me show you what that's like. Now the new model's got a much smaller footprint to it, but essentially it's doing the same thing. It's got uh, four connectors here, and then uh, you know with four wires coming up from the thermostat into the unit. So I'm going to go ahead and take this this plate off, and then mount this plate to the wall in the same place. I think the the holes should kind of line up. Uh, yeah, it looks like they will. So this X Y axis here looks like they will. So I'll get started on that. Okay, so again, just being myself, I believe this to be a DC system. It's not carrying high AC voltage, so the risk of being shocked in my mind is probably low, but I don't know. So I'm just being careful not to have those wires touch each other. Okay, comes right off. Directions plainly say to run the wires through this, uh, the big hole here, so I'll go ahead and run those wires through that large hole. So in the directions, it calls for, you know, how these are to be wired. There was a, a wire for the R circuit, the I plus circuit, the I minus circuit, and the C circuit. So going back to my photo that I had, I can see that those, uh, the I plus and the I minus, the colors that are indicated on the directions were backwards. So I know that I need to do them um, to keep the same order, uh, the color order with the uh, the pins here, I need to uh, account for that. Okay, as I'm tightening this up, I can feel the resistance of the wire on the screw. Okay, so I've got all wires snug. 
Alright, so the brand new unit I got from eBay is all sealed inside of its package. Let me go ahead and open that up. Alright, so now that I've got it opened up, I can see it's got, you know, a nice little, uh, you know, handy guide here on the top. Uh, you know, some nice instructions to get started. And you can see that it's got these four pins that kind of would swing up and then pin into there. So just want to fit. Yeah, I think that uh, unpainted area will be fine. I'll go ahead and put my screws in now. Make a mark here. And I'll make a mark there. To get a set of these uh, plastic inserts. I'll make a little hole here. Okay. And then just slide the insert in. Okay. I should be able to hang on the top. Pull down and then push in. Okay. And it looks like it's booting up right away. All right, so at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and follow the steps that are on here, okay? Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, do the smart tech app, which I think we already have and then enter our uh, Thermostat into that app and then get the uh, the dealer ID and then connect it to the Wi-Fi and go through Okay, so hopefully it's just as easy as that. So back in a moment to show you the results All right, so at this point we're at the uh, initial setup screen and we'll show what we're going to do, we're going to set it up through the thermostat. We tried going through the mobile app, but it being a new unit, I think you have to go through the thermostat. So click on the next button. Uh, dealer ID number. So this is kind of nice. It's showing you that it's running one of seven tests. Oopsie, just hit next, yeah. Now it's two, three. Oh, okay, so you gotta scroll through and do that. Yeah, and you can hear the fan kicking on and stuff while you're doing this. Seems odd. A few moments later. Well, all right, after a few more updates, uh, just following through the menu, we got it working. So it appears to be working well. There's all kinds of different options for what you want. You can put a custom photo here. You can show outdoor weather, which it present it's like a sunny day out there are a few clouds so maybe that's what this is representing so it's a sunny day outside maybe that with a few clouds maybe that's what this rolling cloud is uh representing so with that uh you know looks like we have a win today and i want to thank my helper today for doing a lot of the programming she's much better at going through and reading directions where i'm not i'm more of the hardware guy She's more of the hey, do it right kind of person. So, all right, well, thanks for watching, everybody.